let's go on to what is technically not a demo, I think. Uh, so this is uh, Tunch or Tunch? Tunche? Tunche! Uh, I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. Um, this is currently on Kickstarter. They are, uh, they are funding that. I think it has not yet met its goal. Um, let me double check real quick. Do yeah, they're. Uh, I have to math crap. Um, they're like eighty percent of there right now with 11 days to go so it's it's getting close they've got that going for them uh but this is not the full game this is like a standalone demo uh kind of like how uh hazelnut bastille the demo for that was a chunk of world and a dungeon that is not supposed to be in the final game uh this is like an arena mode of the ultimate like design so i don't know if this will be part of the full game or if it's a complete standalone um, but either way it would help to actually get it captured on obs that is a thing we should do there we go This is supposed to be like a bit of a brawler sort of thing. Um, character. They, she looks so disappointed. We'll play as her. Um, okay, we got a melee arranged. I actually got like multiple attacks. Combos, juggling. I'm going to enjoy doing that. Welcome to Tunch Arena, brave one. Here you'll experience the thrill of combat in its rawest form. This is not the official game, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it all the same. All right. What do we got? Eight. Ho <clears throat> wow. Eight hordes of enemies. Try your luck against the boss. Or survive as long as you can. Do horde mode. Health potion, special when charged. Pick combo list. I wonder if this is gonna be like a uh, uh like a character action kind of brawler. Like if it's gonna be combo driven and like have that kind of Scoring thing like a bayonetta. Hello. I'm just here to give you access to the skill tree. Okay. Let's see. Unlocks the Ember Finisher attack. A damage up. Hmm. I wasn't aware I had a teleport. Is that just like the dodge roll that we were doing? This is mudslide. Oh, well, we need to get teleport first and then. Okay. Attacks, resources, tactics. Gain the ability to send in. Yeah, we already had that. Slam enemies down to the ground. Ground pound. Air recovery, air dash. Hmm. I don't know what I want to spend it on. I I appreciate that there's so much variety here, though. Oh, we gotta have gun boots. You, you just have to. Take the HP up. 
and the MP up, might as well. Yeah, we'll unlock some attacks. Oh, this just... we could just level this up a bunch of times. Special attack, mudslide. Sure. There's like, this is a lot of options to get right out of the gate. Uh, maybe a little too much, but oh well. Not the worst thing. Here's the chance of finding magic orbs. Yeah. Might as well. Fireball finisher. Magic and power attacks do more damage. Oh yeah, I like that. I like this. I have to remember to use it though. Combos. As well take that and then we got 10x XP left here we go we got like a lot of these frogs are jerks There we go. There's the fireball. Yeah, I want to get them, like, grouped together. This classic brawler approach. Oh, and I do have a score. Cool. Wave complete. Uh, energy orb, health orb. Take that. She looks so blasé about doing that. I gotta like use these a lot more. I feel like that's more stylish to do it like that. But I don't yet understand the combo and score system. I don't know how to be more stylish. I feel like that should do it, like that should be part of it. Or I guess it's like keeping combo going is a big part. Bravo, apparently. Gone up to awesome all of a sudden. And then we're back to. We're losing rank quickly. I guess when you take a hit, you, uh, you start to lose rank. And these monkeys are just pooing on us. Ah, no bonus time though. Magic. We need to get our magic back. 
using a bit much of that. Now see, the problem is I was never very good at these like stylish character action kind of games. Uh, like never really played Bayonetta, uh, even like playing Luca, which kind of borrows a lot from this. Uh, I feel like I was just button mashing. I wasn't really doing a great job with the style. Uh, I say that I'm apparently getting achievements for how I'm doing right now. Uh, so there's that. But I can't say I understand why. I mean, granted, I'll probably know if I you know, actually look. I just feel like I'm button mashing, but I'm doing okay in the process. I haven't had to use a potion yet. That is a tree. That is just an angry magical tree. It ran away from my mudslide. very difficult to go any length of time without taking damage. Like, I really need to be able to do that reliably. Uh, ah, they dodged it. Uh, if I'm going to get, like, stronger combo. Get out of here, monkey. Get out of here, tree. I feel like I'm very much taking a button mashing approach when there is a more stylistic one that I could take. This is now a lot of enemies. I may have reflected that monkey's poo away from myself. Kablam! It's like I'm taking a lot of damage as I go. That's my biggest like weakness with this. In terms of like trying to keep combo up, just taking too many hits. Three bonus seconds though. That's good.
like several trees to deal with though. Yeah, it's like so easy to just get surrounded. <sighs> Until you use up your special. Wow, that's an aggressive tree. I completely forgot I had dodge roll. I should be using that. I feel like I'm not recognizing and using the controls very well. Like, I can just do this for a bit. Get them all juggled up. There's a lot that didn't get me. I used a health potion and it looked like I just kind of... It, it kind of looked like I farted. Oh yeah, I definitely needed the help. Like Oh. You're going to do the multiple attack thing. Way too far. Okay. Bad roll. I can't juggle them. Come back here. This went off the screen. There we go. Okay. I kind of wish I had a like a health bar on the boss right now. I wish I could tell how far away I was. Apparently I'm done. Or was that not the last wave? That wasn't the boss. I mean, it's exactly what it says on the tin. Oh, and now I do get a, uh, Do get a bar. <sighs> Just roll through the attack. Hmm. 
Mmm, bad rolls. I think I want to save my special for... Really, that hit? Uh... For now. That didn't do nearly enough. Also, that feels like it hit way earlier than the animation. And I couldn't dodge through it. <sighs> that was like a Cuphead boss. That felt like a Cuphead boss fight. Like, partly in terms of difficulty, <laughs> that was a bit of a spike. Um... But also, like, the style of that fight, I felt like I kept having to use a projectile against it. Um, which is probably not the case. Like, you can probably do that fight fairly well with your melee if you're good at this game. I clearly am not. I think I've, I've learned that much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's... By the other character. He's a bird. Uh, let's do endless mode. Yep. Okay, so this is one where we get the uh, the XP and skills wave after wave. Ah! Stop it! Stop demonstrating my incompetence. Wave one complete. What you got for me? Flap. Sure. We'll bump up the damage as well. Just make it all about offense in this one. Many of you, and you're not launching the way I want you to. I feel like I got, I got used to the wave mode and having that more uh, more robust kind of launch going on. I have a launch attack. We can take a ground pound. Dummy. Hmm. Take a par paralyzing trap and an HP boost.
stupid monkeys. They're very accurate with their poo. So that trap doesn't seem to do much damage. attack air slide. I didn't try this last time. I didn't try like having a power attack. I had a magic attack. Uh let's see if I can pull this off. We'll boost our MP bar as well. That works. I'm thinking that might just be good for, uh, like, crowd control kind of stuff. These are very fast waves. Um, let's make our magic attacks stronger. Yeah, multiple finishers. That went poorly. Um, I, I feel as though my rank is, is quite poor. <laughs> How do you even get to triple S? Jesus. Uh, but clearly, like, that ranking system is super important in this game. Uh, So that tells me like if if you are the type who plays you know your your character action games your bayonettas your probably near automata uh, is the same way uh then you're probably gonna like get bought into this kind of combat uh looks like it is supposed to have co-op mode which is cool um what achievements did I get? Choose a reward in horde mode. That's like, not actually. Air juggle five enemies at the same time. Huh. Um. And they're like, oh, you can annoy the skill tree guy. I should have done that. Seems like it would be fun. Um, anyway. Seems like that gameplay loop is kind of what it's going to be built around. So, again, if you're, if you're into that kind of, like, ranked, score-based kind of brawling, then absolutely. Um, it is $20 pledge minimum to... Get a copy. Uh, apparently they are going for Steam and all consoles. So. That's pretty cool. I can see that being a decent Switch game. Um, depending how the levels and progression is built. Like if it's a small session thing or if it is going to be just one long, uh, one long run. Uh, did say like there's uh there's sm some small roguelike elements to like the level generation and all that so that actually makes me think it might be designed for longer sessions 
which, okay, that makes it, in my mind, more uh, PC suited, but whatever. Uh, you know, the presentation of it was very good. The, the combat flow felt pretty solid. Um, it felt difficult enough to get the good combos going, so it's about what you expect. Um, yeah, that's another one that like I'm I'm generally positive on. I would have to say uh, positive enough to back it at twenty dollars. I'm not sure for myself, but I think that's a reasonable ask for that game if it's going to be as robust as I th think they're going for. Uh, I I can I can see that working and making sense. <laughs> 